What's up lads and ladettes, how are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a hunt on Sirene. Okay. Because there's a few things that I, you know, I want to, you know, give Sirene a good look. I mean, I've checked out a couple of other planets and Sirene seems to be one of the better places for hunters. Um, just from what I've seen, I've seen some stuff online saying that Sirene's one of the better places for hunters uh, from the equipment to the uh, loot composition drops and things like that and uh, today we're going to be doing a 60 PED run on the uh, Panaleons Panaleons I would try the Tide Claws but uh, the Tide Claws are a little bit above my league a bit above my level so we're going to be doing the uh, panel, Paneleons, Paneleons, those guys, we're going to be doing those guys. I've hunted these guys uh, before, earlier on in the day, and got a couple of globals, so who knows. Though uh, I doubt I'll get lucky again. But you never know. And uh, after looking at some of the stuff... Um, like some of the stuff in their loot table, I am thoroughly looking forward to... Oh yeah, they have musics. I am thoroughly looking forward to... Um, exploring Sirene some more. And getting some of the... Doing some of the missions that actually give some items and stuff. Of course, some of them are... <laughs> I'll have to be of a greater level in order to complete but for now we're gonna explore what siren has to offer and get cracking so in these little hunting chambers you have you know you have all the mobs to hunt and then in the center is the way out so sort of in the center there's a room you go there and then you're able to teleport out now when you come into these things make sure you've got all the shit that you need and right now all I need is my gun, my ammo, and yeah, and these guys, with the armor that I've got on, they don't hit hard, like, at all. So we're just gonna go through the motions, see what we get, and uh, have a look at the loot composition as well, because the loot composition is very important. There are of course gonna be some things that are basically TT food, um, essentially, like, unless, unless, like, when I'm not on Calypso, unless the thing has a, uh, markup of 105 or more, or, you know, a little bit less than 105, so maybe 104, uh, percent, unless it's around that range, then it's basically TT food, um, because it's, you know, I don't really care about taking that stuff back to say calypso so things like animal eye oil and the oil residue is essentially tt food but uh one of the things i'm going to be looking at is uh seeing how the animal oil residue uh works with crafting because from what us from what it said can be used in the manufacturing process so i'm going to see if that you know how well that goes, and I might be able to turn the, you know, piddly amounts of uh, that stuff into, I don't know, something better. Utilize it in crafting, like, finders or weapons or whatever. I know I shouldn't TT it, and if I was on uh, Calypso... I wouldn't TT it, um, just because I'll just throw it into throw it into the uh, storage. But I don't know. I kind of want to save the storage space stuff on Sirene for uh, essentially just for the higher markup items. Speaking of, what is this guy like? Nah. There's someone that might buy it though, and that's the thing. 
Now this isn't going to be a ridiculously long hunt. And I should also say, if you're new to the channel, one, welcome. Two, make sure you subscribe. If we hit a thousand subs- like once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a 1000 PED giveaway. But if we get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, which is a very fair possibility, then I'm going to be giving away 1,500. So, for a chance to get in on that action, make sure you're subscribed. And, of course, once we hit a thousand subscribers, and then I'll make the video, you know, talking about the giveaway and all that sort of stuff. But until then, make sure you're subscribed. have a quick like just just a quick squiz a quick looky loo we're around we're around 15 yeah around 15 PD and we're about 25 PD down so it's not the best of things but with this sort of stuff like when hunting, and th th this is one of those key things. Hey, 31 PET global. All right, so we're we're all we're all good. We're all good for this hunt. This hunt is we're we're all G. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll we should turn a profit on this hunt, not a problem, because that was 50% of what we're putting in. 50% of what we're putting in, and we'll get that out. So that's good. So at least we're going to come away with a profit. Should do. Should come away with profit. I think we're, we're I mean, we're around like 40. Almost 50 already, so. So now it's just a matter of uh, how much of that sweet, sweet profit gravy are we going to have on top. I'm hoping for a decent amount. I am, I am very much hoping for a, for a decent amount. If we get another global. Or even a mini. That would be nice. Hey, maximum health increased to 140. Really? Really? So our major thing is up to 128. Nice. And yeah, this gives an extra 12. So that's a, that's a good thing. More health means you could take more hits. It's always, it's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. Oh! Speaking of. Uh, speaking of a good thing. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a guide for... Like, sort of a revised guide. My, my, my way of thinking has changed in the past year, year and a half. So I'm going to be doing a fresh guide for... Uh, sort of this year and going forward because there are a few extra things like few things that are different different between then and now so I'm gonna be doing another guide but it's just I'm not gonna do like a series sort of thing I'm thinking I might just do a you know a decent size video maybe 40 minutes talking like you know do, doing a basic sort of uh, sort of revised guide I don't I don't really want to turn it into a series I don't really want to milk anything like that um because like i said i've done i've done guides before but my mindset has changed my mindset has changed on a few things so i would like to revise i would like to kill that guy so what we'll do is we'll kill this one and then we'll kill that one and then we'll kill that one works for me works for me Come on, hurry up and die. I like these guys because they're very, they're, they're very, they're very easy to kill, and uh, I have no issues killing them whatsoever. So Th these guys are a good hunt for me. These guys are a good, uh, solid, you know, plow through sort of thing for me. And you got, you know, you got some stuff like this, and, and they also have, um, oh, there's another component, but it's like 150 percent. So 150% markup. It's basically this one, but it's green. I forget what it's called. Um, if we find one, you guys will see what it is. 
yeah, focus lens component, see? Focus lens component, 150% markup. So these guys are a pretty, pretty decent one to be hunting. Um, just because they all, they all tend to drop this sort of stuff, and, uh, yeah, even though some of it is, like, what I would call TT food, um, for, on, on siren, but I will see if I can, uh, find some sellers, maybe, to sell some stuff, but, um, I'm gonna have a look at the oil residue stuff, but, uh, like, I, I don't think it's a bad thing to, like, basically utilize certain things as straight up TT food. Right, because sometimes you're going to be sitting on a pile of PED that you're just not going to be able to sell. Or you could sell, but it will just take a long ass time to sell it. And you won't really get that much more for it. Um, but it depends on what you're doing, I guess. Alright, so that's, uh, that's going to be all she wrote for this one. Very sharp, like, short, sharp, simple, uh, hunt, right? And I can already say we, you know, we, we profited of, like, of at least 10 PED. At, uh, at least 5 PED. So we definitely made, uh, back on this one, which is always a nice thing. And we have a couple that are, uh, very nice sort of markup. Those focus lens components are like something to keep an eye out for. And of course, once you're done. So, it's very short, sharp, simple, easy sort of hunt. So if you're in the market for doing some hunting, I recommend, and you're on siren, I recommend giving them a, giving them a, them guys a chance. Give them a go. All right, I recommend giving them a go. So, first we're going to go to the TT, and just have a good look at exactly what we got back. So we got back, uh, 72.41, and if we look at our armor and our weapons, so we made back about, so we made about 8 PED. So that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world, that's actually very good. Whenever you make a profit... Any profit is good profit, right? Any profit is good profit. But yeah, this is the sort of stuff that you you can look at getting from those guys. Along with, uh, where is it? Uh, some armor sets. Some Arc Guardian stuff. And there's a few other different things that you can get, like rare items, which are, um, you know, basically like, you know, weapons and... Different things like that. Different things like that. But yeah, you got like tiering components that you can get from them, which is 100, you know, around 115. Uh, you got some ver various paint cans, which I don't think, yeah, not the most markup, but when it sells, it's like 110. So that's not bad. You got this stuff right here. You know, the advanced stone extractor, which is 120. So that shit's always nice to be having on board. And of course you got the socket components. Socket components, 105. I always look at the month. Socket component 1, it's just under 105. But for the day, it's 105. So, if you can get close to TT value, like, if you can get close to what you put in TT value-wise, generally you're going to end up making a profit on the markup, especially if you get some of these guys. If you get focus lens components, that's going to be good, right? So if you're down there, cycle through your shrapnel, cycle through all your ammunition, and then see what you have when you come out, right? Because if you cycle through your ammunition, like, say you've got, like, 100 PED, and then you come out and you got, like, 60, 70 PED worth of shrapnel and, like, 30, like, 20 to 30 PED worth of, um other loot right you, if you just keep cycling your ammunition eventually you're going to come out and you're going to have a good amount of these you know optimal loot items and hopefully a lot of them will be the higher markup stuff so you'll have enough to then uh sell off luckily the focus lens components because of how 
much their markup is. Um, you don't really need like a huge stack to sell it. So that's always a plus. You don't need a massive stack to sell it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. That 1,000 PD giveaway if we, uh, once we hit 1,000. 1,500 if we get there before the end of the year, which is looking very, very likely. And, uh, yeah, I think that was it for today. There was nothing else that I wanted to talk about. I'm sure there's going to be a couple of people in the comments that are like, you shouldn't TT things. And I'm, 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 I'm going to agree, you shouldn't TT things. If I was on uh, Calypso, I wouldn't TT a damn thing. Um, I would try to sell it, but because I'm on Sirene, I don't know the traders, so I'd rather hand, I'd rather just keep a hold of the, uh, the, you know, the, the bigger markup stuff. But I should keep a hold of this stuff. I shouldn't need to offload anything. I've got about 200 PED, uh, on my ped card and I've got around, what, like, 200 250 pd worth of ammunition if i include the shrapnel conversion so i shouldn't need to sell anything for a little while shouldn't do especially if i get lucky like i did today anyway guys you guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next one